What is Bill's Atomic Garage? Bill's Atomic Garage is a webcast show of period-specific hot rods, customs, motorcycles, along with their owners, builders, customizers, riders, and drivers. Where will you be able to watch Bill's Atomic Garage? Rent or buy an episode on Vimeo. Become an added viewer on Facebook, YouTube, Instagram, and Twitter. Or just search the web for Bill's Atomic Garage. Why should you watch Bill's Atomic Garage? Who doesn't like those roaring, gas-sucking, streamlined beauties? Who will be featured on Bill's Atomic Garage? The cat, kitten, or car club that has a car in progress. The ones that know their ride inside and out. The ones that have put endless hours as well as blood, sweat, and tears into their ride. We will also feature pinup girls, rockabilly bands, music videos, car shows, music events, art shows, as well as the people that keep the car world going. Spread the word about Bill's Atomic Garage. Do you have a ride? Know a cat, kitten, or car club? Owner, builder, customizer, rider, driver, band, or pinup that would like to be featured on Bill's Atomic Garage? Are you a business, company, car show, event promoter, organizer, looking to expand your visibility? We always have room for product placement, sponsorship, and advertising. None of these you, but you still want to help? Donate a dollar or two at our Facebook store, or go to our Kickstarter event. We have tons of options for you to personally sponsor Bill's Atomic Garage. But the best way to help is to watch Bill's Atomic Garage. We can't thank you enough. Now kick back and watch this episode of Bill's Atomic Garage. Give me half an hour, I won't be the same. One more time. This is Bill's Atomic Garage. We're here in Viva Las Vegas checking out a beautiful 1929 Ford called the One Night Stand. Hi, I'm Shelby Loveland and you're watching Bill's Atomic Garage. This one, yeah, it's called One Night Stand. Uh, Kyle Kirkman out of Rancho Cucamonga. It's a 1929 sedan by Tennessee out of a shop called Ricky Bobby's Rod Shop. Uh, I, I bought an original car a long time ago, and then, uh, it turned out to be one of his. So they only knew his name, so I ended up tracking him down to find out you know, if he built more cars or whatnot. So I ended up uh, befriending him and became really good friends and told him, you know what, I like your style. I built custom bikes for a living myself and uh, said, you know what, I want you to build me a nice car and then I'll fly you out here and you can be and hang out with us and take you to the Grand National uh, Hot Rod Show. So uh, after four months, he ended up uh, building this for me. You know what? It, one thing, it de definitely brings a lot of attention. It's a one of a kind build and uh, was, you know, personally built for me and my style. And, and you know involved in this thing so uh, and uh, you know the driving of it is just incredible you know, we, we don't trailer we don't trailer anything anywhere we go we're going to drive and we drove four hours straight to get here to this show and you know what I, I just uh, I have no values in cars that get uh, trailered they're made to be driven so one of the biggest pleasures obviously is driving this thing it's a blast the only thing uh, I'm going to do is because the radiator is actually up in the rear so uh, I'm actually going to take it back out and put a fan shroud around it so we get 100% use of the whole uh, the radiator. Right now we're using about 75%, but uh, the interesting thing inside it, we will run the CNC machine cooler inside it. We don't run regular 50-50 uh, mixer, and it's actually straight uh, CNC machine fluid inside there. Drops to 20 degrees. You know what, honestly, on this car, I, there's really nothing. Everything I wanted done to it, was done so it's it's one of those i really don't gotta add anything to it it's uh maybe some things on the inside some different gauges and stuff like that inside there right now is uh, uh boat gauges from 1950 so it still has uh the trim it says trim on it and the speedometer only goes up to 80 so you know, a lot of those things we gotta change out but uh pretty much the way it sits is is how i like it well, you know the main thing everybody asks all the time in this car is the rims. They, they're perplexed by the rims because they're 20-inch in the rear and 18s up front. They just can't figure them out. Actually, the front, and this will be reveal a big secret to everybody that they can do, it's real simple. It's uh, Dodge Magnum front rims on SRTs, and you weld up the holes to get that smooth look. The rears are a Dodge Ram 1500 pickup truck spare tires. They're all spare rims. The problem is, is they're very expensive to buy. They're not uh, your normal... You know, $100 rims, the, the front ones, you have to get them from Moldmar, it's 345 rim, and then they tear them up and weld them all back together. 
you know what? It's I, I think everybody has their own personal style, and uh, and it's reflected in the vehicles that they drive. You know, some people like the big cherry bomb cars and everything else, and I just kind of. Uh, my attention grew to these style of cars, and, and it's been there ever since. I, I just love these, and I, I appreciate everybody else's car. I really do. It's just this is this is new. It fits me. It's my style, and kind of how I live my life. Do you, you know, even just going down to the uh, the local place to go eat, we'll get in them and drive them around. So it's they're not uh, sitting in the car, uh, you know, the garage car at all. We love driving them. So you know what? It's it's uh, it's. It's the car culture. It's what everybody wants to know. They want to know about your car, and it's, I'm happy to provide all the information that I can. I, I really have no secrets. I'll tell them everything about the car and, and turn them on to the guy that actually built it. No, we're out. I'm, I'm out here. <laughs> I drove out here. She stayed home, and I drove my car. There is there is no problem with it. It's just, it is what it is. This is my car. This is what I do. And they're either part of it or they're not part of it.